What's up, guys? Morning. JD here. I'm currently at inside. <laughs> I want my way to Robinson's Gallery in North to play some Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, well, uh, do some business. Do some business for my uh, for my network marketing thing. No. So, while well, I'm at it, let's do a, well, let's do an episode of Random Thoughts, shall we? Now, there's this, uh, there's this burning question that has been nagging me uh, since I saw uh, that video of Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street, interviewing Jack Gordon. Here's my burning question for you guys. Which, which, of, which do you prefer, Frank Gardon or Jordan Belfort? Okay. Here's my backstory on it. Basically, the video uh, was uh, was actually Jordan Belfort's podcast. It's called The Wolf Den. <clears throat> there was this question he threw to the Grand Cardone in which Grand Cardone did not give him a straight answer alright that was the moment um, that was the mo- that, was that, that exact moment where I lost faith in Grand Cardone alright I think the question was about um Which is more important, sales or marketing? Something to that, something to that effect. Okay. And he didn't. And Grant Cardo did not give, did not, did not give Jordan Belfort a straight, a straight answer. I said, Oh my fucking god. Okay. Here is a multimillionaire entrepreneur with a simple question from a, from a flat out sales guru. I don't know. The question is supposed to be a no-brainer for him. Okay? It's supposed to be a no-brainer for him. Yet he didn't give a straight. He didn't give the you. He didn't give a straight answer. All right. From that point onward, I lost faith in the guy. Okay. I lost faith in Van Cardone. I um. Uh, I unsubscribed from his YouTube channel. I even dropped from his affiliate program. Okay? But I was um the only thing I have from Grand Cardone is uh is an audio version of the Millionaire Booklet. Right? I thought, okay. Millionaire Booklet's fine with me. So with that in mind, here's my burning question again. Who do you prefer? Grant Cardone or Jordan Belfort? I'm here right now in Zark's Robinson's Gallery in North. Alright? We're going to be having this for lunch. Okay? The Yu Gi Oh! tournament is two hours from now, so I got lots of time to do, to do business and this. Okay? But before I, before I guzzle this down, right? I'm going to use this. Okay. Hindi tayo dapat umawak ng pagkain pag marumi ang kamay natin. So? Zero messiness. All natural ingredients. Okay? Remember the name. Now, if you want to work, if you want to uh, get your, you want to get your own, get your own Spartan hands, hand sanitizer. All you have to do is click the link below, or hit the hit the link below, or any anywhere around anywhere around this anywhere around the screen, and use my code, Money and Life Ten. 
I bet it's already in the sub it's in the subtitles. Okay? Use code Money in Life 10 so that you can get 10% off your order. Actually, 10% off of any of your orders. Right? So, Daniela, Spartan Hands. Now, I'll put you down. My answer is depends. Right? Depends. If you live in the United States, Cardone's principles will suit you when it comes to real estate investing and probably business, right? But if you live anywhere else, his real estate investing principles will not, probably will not work, right? Especially here in the Philippines. <clears throat> here, owning a house is better than renting. All right, it's not. Well, here owning a house is not for. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not for status simple purposes, so to speak. <clears throat> Shelter is a basic need, right? And if you own the house, <clears throat> excuse me, you can do anything with it, right? <clears throat> Now, if you're purely into sales, if you if your main focus is selling, go for Jordan Belfort, like me. Okay, that's the main reason why I I dropped Grand, Card Grand Cardone from my um, what's called this from my circle of influences, so to speak. <laughs> Because compared to compared to the wolf, the wolf's um, the wolf's techniques are better, all right? Because I've seen I've seen the movie The Wolf of Wall Street before, all right? I've already seen the movie, and I thought, wow, let's try this, <laughs> let's try this. So one of my goals right now is to um, what's call this. Okay. <laughs> Under renovation pala ang Galen North ngayon. So we'll have to take the long route. Huwag no long cut tayo ngayon. Okay, so going back. When it comes to selling techniques, I believe Jordan Belfort is better. Okay. Well, if you've seen, like me, if you've seen the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, it'll prove my point. Now, I've already checked out his website, and it's uh, <clears throat> and it's rather expensive. But hey, right? It doesn't. Price should not be an object when it comes to learning, right? We're not going to make it an excuse. I want to enroll. In Jordan Belfort's program in um, Straight Line Persuasion, as soon as possible. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start saving that for now, right? So here we are at the mall. I'm gonna pause this for a while, okay? Okay, so we've entered the uh, we've the mall already. And, uh, I'm still finding my way. Okay, so. Supposed to uh, complete the, complete the, the weekly Yu Gi Oh tournament right now, and I'm running a bit late. So that's my uh, that's my stand on the matter. That is my answer. So I'll hope. Uh, well, not exactly hope. All right. Oh, I forgot. This is already episode 41. Right. The road to. Okay. The road to. The final free episode of Random Thoughts begins here. Okay. So, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, money and light movement. <laughs>